So after two grueling weeks, I finally decided to post a Call of Duty gameplay right here and right now. But just take a look at my past uploads right now. In the past two weeks, I uploaded only four videos and all of them were strictly Destiny videos. I do have a lot of explaining to do and today's video, we are going to be talking about some Call of Duty and what is going on in the Call of Duty community currently. We are getting much closer to Black Ops 3 finally releasing and even David Fonda Hart tweeted out that Black Ops 3 is finally completed. Everything is done and dusted and now we are waiting for the full arrival of the game. But yeah, guys, we're going to be talking about why I haven't really uploaded that much Call of Duty content in the past two weeks, as well as just what is going on strictly in the Call of Duty community, because at this very moment when I make this video, I could say that Call of Duty is right now at the lowest it has ever been, because it's just nothing going on right now. Advanced Warfare is just not even fun at all. It's just a straight up flop. Everyone's just waiting for Black Ops 3. There's really nothing to do, nothing to post strictly Call of Duty, but not just that. We're going to be talking about the community itself. And there's this one video that I actually did see that probably many of you guys have seen yourselves And a lot of people made video responses regarding it and I should have made a video response long before But I decide to do it now than it never well you guys looking at the background There's some more Call of Duty Black Ops 3 beta gameplay I'm using the man of war playing some demolition on the map of hunted and just looking at this gameplay again after two weeks I'm just so hyped for Black Ops 3 because obviously I've been lately playing a lot of destiny Which I am still enjoying destiny as well But I'm just waiting for Black Ops 3 because I had a really good time playing the beta and just to wait for that final release for the full game itself i'm just really excited i'm gonna put all my money into this game and i think this game will revive the call of duty franchise as i said in previous videos okay so first of all why well, haven't uploaded call of duty in the past two weeks and i think it's pretty self-explanatory i already did mention it in the beginning of this video it's because there's not much going on in the call of duty community there's nothing interesting to talk about all i can really do is just talk about a random topic and just put some call of duty gameplay in there it'll be randomly called a call of duty video but not just that but i've been in enjoying many other games other than Call of Duty Advanced Warfare at the moment. Like, I don't remember the last time I even played Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. I think it was just, like, roughly a month ago, probably, like, right after the beta did end. I decided to hop onto it once, and I just didn't want to play it again because I just got bored of it too quickly because of the fact that Black Ops 3 was actually really enjoyable. I didn't really go on to go back to a game that isn't as good as Black Ops 3 was in a beta version. So instead, I've just been packing Destiny content in the past couple of weeks because I'm just thoroughly enjoying the game right now. There's just so much going on with the Taken King. It's been out for two weeks and I still haven't completed everything I could possibly do on all three of my characters. And I've already posted a couple of videos on Destiny as you guys obviously seen before. So if you haven't seen them, if you want to see them, go check them out right now. But it just shows that I right now am losing interest in Call of Duty. It's probably going to go back up when Black Ops 3 does arrive. But that just explains why I haven't uploaded that much Call of Duty. Advanced Warfare is just a downright bore. There's nothing literally going on on that game except for advanced supply drops, which I don't know why people still even open that stuff. It's just kind of pointless in my opinion but that's literally it there's nothing going on in call of duty for the next two months but then i saw this video that keemstar actually made talking about the current state of the call of duty community and i watched the entire video and everything he did mention just stood completely true about the call of duty community obviously a lot of people did see the video and made their own responses and here is mine right now so to quickly recap what the video was about obviously he was mentioning the current state of the call of duty community but not only that but he remembered those times when the call of duty community was so much more greater than it is at the very moment when there was a lot of collaborations with many other YouTubers. Not many people really cared more about the money of YouTube, but just simply enjoying themselves and pure entertainment and a whole lot more. It just completely makes so much sense. And I, as a YouTuber with roughly around 500 subscribers, I am considered a small YouTuber, 100%. And I enjoy playing Call of Duty. And I'm sure many of you guys watching this video right now definitely enjoy Call of Duty as well and do want change, especially with the last two Call of Duty titles not being successful whatsoever. And I simply do this for my my own entertainment as well as your own entertainment because I just love the game so why not post it and I just want to really be creative and just express myself on YouTube that's the whole point of this YouTube aspect which has completely been diluted with the whole saturation with all these new like clickbait titles and all these things for people just focusing more on just being successful rather than the content they actually produce but yes I completely understand that people want to post content they enjoy and obviously get something out of it I would love to do so myself but to focus mostly on that then your content just completely shows what this community has come to and needs to be changed because there are many bigger Call of Duty YouTubers like the Face Clan, Optic Clan, many other people that are really big and have just been more successful than other YouTubers who want to at least get somewhere in the YouTube community. They could easily get a boost up and get some juice if they could simply collaborate
collaborate with smaller YouTubers as Keemstar said in the video and it makes perfect sense. I would love to get so many subscribers. I would love to be noticed in the Call of Duty community, but of course I have to work for it, but at least get my videos out there and get more exposure because it's gonna definitely motivate me to continue striving for great YouTube videos and even improve my content as a whole. And that's why I've been posting a lot of Destiny content in the past couple of weeks because I see the Destiny community slowly starting to grow and there's still much open space for new content creators to make their mark and to be able to grow as a YouTuber. So I try my best to get some Destiny content out there. I definitely would just say I would split my YouTube channel between Call of Duty and Destiny. That's probably the main two games that I'm playing at the very moment that I'm currently enjoying. So I did post a lot more Destiny content. I'm thoroughly enjoying it, but it's a lot easier for me to do that than to post Call of Duty content and not get my videos out there. Even though I did get my channel out there through the TSG, which is mainly a Call of Duty community channel, I shouldn't be relying on community channels to grow as a YouTuber. I should be growing based off solely my videos and people clicking the subscribe button because they enjoyed my content and to have a better outlet with destiny at the very moment it's better for my youtube channel and i'm enjoying the game on top of that so it's just perfect for me but those not mean obviously i'm not going to be posting call of duty content as i said in this video but i just need to wait we need to wait till black ops 3 comes out because it could probably most likely revive the call of duty franchise and it is now time for change as keemstar said it is time for the community to change and now there's a lot of big youtubers at the very moment who are working to actually collaborate with smaller YouTubers and I think this is the great transition from Call of Duty's community back then to what it is now and it could be a new Call of Duty community that will actually stand out because there are many games that are growing communities right now and it could overlap Call of Duty like Destiny, Counter-Strike and many other games are overlapping Call of Duty at the very moment and we need to bring it back up to what it was back then at its peak. What it comes down to is all of us working as a unit we should all collaborate share our videos around and simply enjoy the art of gaming the art of Call of Duty and what this franchise has come to. We need to bring it back. We need to bring back that old style that made what the Call of Duty franchise is today. And if it weren't for us, there would be no such thing as Call of Duty and we can't be the same community that will actually bring it down. So guys, those are all my thoughts regarding the Call of Duty community and everything in Call of Duty at the very moment. Hopefully you guys did enjoy this video and I'm bringing back that Call of Duty spirit on my channel. So I keep looking forward to more of these commentaries coming in soon. So if you guys did enjoy this video though, definitely hit that like button below definitely support my channel by subscribing down below if you haven't yet to enjoy some more great call of duty content but anyway guys that is gonna be my time for today my miss Pollock, and i'll see you guys all next time everybody, everybody, everybody.